Hi, I'm Constable Michael Lukowski. Welcome to Phoenix 2020, a clearer vision for the future of Phoenix. And talking about the future of Phoenix, we're gonna we're right here in West Side Phoenix with this new freeway, the 202. About a year ago, we were actually right here at the same spot, and now look at it. It's incredible. The, all the things that are happening, what we have with us right now is Dustin that's gonna tell us a little bit about what's going on in this unique partnership. This is the first time ADOT has ever had this type of partnership um, with a company, right? Yeah, this is our very first uh, highway public-private partnership, and we've made incredible progress in just a year. We're only one year into major construction. We have bridges that are being built uh, from the ground up. We've moved a massive amount of earthwork uh, and compacted it. We've, For this project alone, we need to move 10 million cubic yards of earth. Wow. And that's enough to fill the University of Phoenix football stadium 13 times. 13 times? Yes, 13 times. Wow. And then here in the West Valley, we're starting to see an I-10 interchange emerging in the West Valley. So that's incredible progress and it's being made daily here. That's, you know what's so incredible is when I talk to people, they're saying, hey, I'm working on the 202. Hey, I'm, we have a lot of local businesses, local individuals that are actually contracted to do the work here from the rebar to the to the cement to every aspect of it it's just amazing when you when i go to meetings and people are saying hey consummate thank you for that job i go well it's really the state and all of us working together to create these jobs this is the largest single highway project ever adot's ever worked on and it requires a lot of local work all the materials you see on the freeway all local uh, uh, work and it's bringing a lot of business uh, to arizona Dustin, what's so incredible is that we were right there at that footing of that bridge. I mean, holy cow, that's a long bridge. Yeah, so uh, we are building a new freeway to freeway interchange, the Loop 202 I-10 interchange, and it's gonna include five flyover ramps that are gonna carry traffic to and from the South Mountain Freeway to I-10. And across the way there, you're seeing one of the longest bridges. It's gonna be a 1,500 foot long bridge over I-10. Well, that's one of the largest bridges we have, I bet you, right? Uh, one of the largest bridges on the on the project, but not quite the largest. We have a half, two half mile long bridges we're building over the Salt River. Wow. You know, Dustin, the other thing is people are saying, hey, the 202 is on the 59th Avenue. Why is 43rd Avenue being torn up? And why is 75th Avenue from 43rd to 75th, there's all this construction going on? Can you kind of clear that up for us? Yeah, that's a, that's a good question. It's something we get asked often. The uh, Southbound freeway, we actually have a construction zone on I-10 between 43rd and 75th Avenue. And that is because we are actually widening I-10 as part of construction of building the new Loop 202 I-10 interchange. We are building new auxiliary lanes that will feed uh, traffic from the South Mountain to freeway to and from I-10. So we need to widen that freeway. And another added benefit of this, when all this work is done, the entire section of I-10 between 43rd and 75th Avenue is gonna get brand new, smooth, rubberized asphalt. Oh, wow. That's gonna be a huge benefit for drivers when we're done with the project. Oh, let me tell you, neighbors love that because it's quiet. It's rubber on rubber, so you don't hear the noise that we're hearing right now from the cars. Yeah, we're very proud to use that in Arizona. It's been a, a it's, it not only is it durable, but a lot of the residents who near uh, live near the freeway are very appreciative of it also. And Dustin, we're right here on like an extent on a on an access road, so that's going to be great. We're going to have an access road that connects 43rd, 51st, 59th Avenue. We've never had that here on the west side, so I know people are going to appreciate that, especially if you live on McDowell Road or on Van Buren. Those are kind of used as our um, access roads now, so thank you for everything you guys are doing, and what a great work. Now, we're, we're, we're glad to, to be a part of this. Uh, we know a lot of motorists are relying on us to build this freeway. So many people are looking for traffic congestion relief, and we believe that this project, when it's completed by the end of 2019, is going to provide an excellent alternative for motorists instead of having to drive through downtown Phoenix. Well, thank you so much. And hey, let's go look for somebody who can talk about the community and how we can do some outreach. Sounds good. All right. Hi, Crystal. How's it going? Hi, Councilman. How are you? Crystal, this is incredible. I mean, we were here last year and all the traffic and all these bridges. And I mean, 
it's complicated. Yes, Tell us a little it bit is. What, what are some of the challenges facing this project? Well, the major challenges on building on a major interstate such as I-10, which is heavily traveled by the public every day, is we've got a lot of construction to do underground with drainage, storm drain, electrical conduit work. We're building on the freeway, so and putting new pavement, striping, concrete work barrier, and then we've got above ground work with the superstructures as you see behind us with these major flyover bridges. And tons of traffic. Tons of traffic daily. You know, um, so how does the community get involved or how do you do this outreach to the community? I know you're part of Connect 202 and so how do you get the community involved? So we've got several ways where we get the community involved. We have a website, southmountainfreeway.com, which we encourage people to go and visit because we put all of our information out there. We have our design plans, we've got construction updates, upcoming road restrictions, and most importantly, that's where people can go and sign up for our weekly traffic alerts that go out every Friday that tells them oh, exactly wow. what's upcoming and what to expect. So if you're planning out your, your route to work on Monday, so Friday you can pre-plan everything and know that this road's going to be closed or this road's open, and do you give suggestions on detours and stuff like that? Absolutely. So the intent is to get the information out as soon as possible, far in advance, so motorists can plan accordingly if they're going to work, taking their kids to school, or even traveling to a major event. So oftentimes when we uh, schedule these closures, they're nightly or on the weekends where there's less heavily tra traffic on the roadway. So Crystal, I go out to school meetings, I go out to community meetings, I go out to the barbecue. You guys are there, you guys are everywhere. So if some neighborhood association or block watch wants to get a hold of you, wants to know more information, how can, can you guys go out to a block watch meeting? Or Absolutely. We're always willing to go out and meet with any community. Uh, we can go out to events, HOA meetings, barbecues, as you mentioned, anywhere throughout the valley. And we set up a booth, we bring information, have them ask questions, even bring our design plans so they can see where the future alignment is going. Well, Crystal, thank you so much. And that's what I call Team Phoenix approach, where you have ADOT, the state, the county, the city, everyone coming together, the community, the business community, the contractors, everyone working together to make this a better place for all of us. So thank you, and we'll see you next time on Phoenix 2020, a clearer vision for the future of Phoenix.